so Keyshot 8 is out and there is a lot of stuff that has been showed and there's a lot of work that has been put into it and today I'm going to tell you my honest review about Keyshot 8, what I expect and what they've done so far and what I think they can improve on. So let's quickly start up with the major things that they've done. First and foremost, I like the fact that they still kept the uh, UI as simple as it has always been. And I also love the fact that we now have this stuff called New Studio. I cannot remember seeing it in Keyshot 7. If it exists, please correct me. I cannot remember seeing this in Keyshot 7. And there has been a lot of work within the material and the volume section because Keyshot now supports the volumetric lighting and you can find that here within the part where we have the scattering medium Keyshot now supports volumetric stuff so it means that you can now bring in your object your VDBs and you can render them directly here in Keyshot one other thing that they've supported that I kind of love so much is they went back and they added a lot of uh, materials right here. Other materials that has been added that has to also do with geometry is the cutaway. It's actually one of the top features that comes with this present version. And what this feature helps you do is you can cut into sections of other objects and you know uh, see what's going inside inspect them and maybe make changes and this would be very helpful for engineers and product designers a whole lot we've talked about the scattering medium which is you being able to scatter both uh, fog and volumetric lights as well one other top feature that has also made its way to keyshot is the uh, geometry shaders but this feature the geometry shader is actually exclusive to keyshot 8 pro so if you're using the default Keyshot 8, you may not be able to get this feature. Okay, you may not be able to get this feature. So the geometry slider uh, and the geometry shader, excuse me, the geometry shader comes with three different uh, geometry uh, shaders, which include, if I uh, just pop it open here, which includes the bubbles, displacement, and flake. Other uh, nice stuff that they've added is the idea that you can now convert any object to light, thereby supporting lights like the spotlight, the point light, IES, and area lights. Normally, those used to be materials, but now they are not just materials anymore, but they now have sliders that you can use to control how much intensity they can have how much fall off they can have and um, these amazing stuff has come to Keyshot 8 and we are also going to see uh, things that has to do with the image style so now you can style your image in real time instead of going back and forth after you've done a particular render to style the image now you can just easily style your images and uh, right here in your viewport and move on with it so these are these are amazing they've worked a lot within the backgrounds and with the environment there's just no guessing of how much work they've put into this stuff the multi-layer is amazing they've uh, actually worked really really hard to make sure that the multi-layer is stable and now you can also have animated textures run directly in your viewport so whenever you want to use a density texture especially if you're working with a light you can just have that and use the density the animated density texture or the animated texture run directly in your scene so this is amazing I, i'm I, I think this is actually one of the best times to start using keyshot if you're not yet using uh, keyshot as an app for your default rendering uh, other things that they've kept which are nice is the idea that you can go ahead make a multi selection of tools and now you can just simply uh, still put them in a group and maybe make a pattern out of them put them in a new render layer these things are so nice you can now create model set from selection I think these are things that most probably have existed before but they are actually 
pushing the boundaries of how well these things work. Now, down to the part where I expected some stuff from them. Like I said in the previous videos of previous years, I still don't know why Keyshot doesn't have a key frame animation. I still don't know why that doesn't happen. I still don't know why you cannot uh, select the certain part and just simply animate them the way you want to animate. I mean, instead of having all of this and maybe just this, which I think this is also a nice feature to have, but I don't know why you cannot simply animate your stuff the way you want to animate them. You still cannot go to your traditional 3D app and bring an FBX that has been animated and render it here in Keyshot. You still cannot go into uh, Maya or 3D Max and bring your character that has been rigged, that has bones, that has been binded to it and animate them here. These are little things that would make Keyshot stand out. But over time, I've also noticed that it's either they don't really want to invest into these things or maybe they don't have the resources to do them, which I think the latter is not the problem. Other things that I really wish uh, had made their way to Keyshot is the idea. The idea that whenever you make a change to your style, like uh, this, you cannot actually change the background. I'm looking forward to a point where Keyshot can allow multi layers. That means you can make a background or make a, uh, a scene like this, save this scene out, go over to another scene, I mean, the same scene, create or change the color of maybe the background, the color of the car, the color of stuff. I mean, get these things working directly inside Keyshot and not going outside Keyshot using the uh, other tools that has been also added with it which has to do with collaboration which is nice but i would really love it if it is possible for you to do that here the same way we can play with the environment i would like to have was being able to you know get this stuff saved out in a certain layer and maybe make changes to that layer as well and create another layer this would support variation so you can have multi stuff you can work with at the same time I would really love to see that. One other thing I didn't talk about earlier is the fact that within this texture library uh, there are very nice textures that you can play with. So if you want to try out some VDBs or maybe you want to go ahead and try out some um, displacement or maybe a density driver like this, you don't really need to uh, start creating one for yourself. There are things like this that Keyshot has made possible. The guys from Luxion has made uh, possible for you to make use of and get your work up to speed. So these are the things which I think and I also wish one more thing that uh, Keyshot should also be able to create some sort of stand uh, long lasting bridge between them and Photoshop. I really really wish that that can happen that all you have to do is just uh, make a selection from here and you can send it directly to Photoshop so once your image renders it pops it right inside Photoshop or maybe once you have your image like this and it's finally retraced directly in your viewport you can just send it directly to Photoshop and that would work I love the render layers but I really wish that we can be able to move that from here to maybe any image editing program of our choice and make changes there okay now if you like this video i would like you to go down in the comment section and put things which you love to see in the upcoming key shot that will be coming out probably next year please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and if you're new here also turn on the notification button so that you get updates next time i upload a new video so far so good guys peace